Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Corpse Party Book of Shadows video. And yeah, let me lower my volume. There we go. Welcome to another Corpse Party Book of Shadows video. It's been forever since I've played Corpse Party Book of Shadows, you know? Um, so I decided to come back to it. Whatever. Let's let's continue. Uh, load game. Uh, some uh somebody's coming. What do I do? Uh, let's see. Let me let me go look at the endings list. I only have one ending for this one, and this is the longest. This is the longest chapter, or the one with the most endings. I don't know if it's the longest, but the way, somebody's coming. What do I do? Uh, wait here and run. What did I pick last time? I think I picked wait here last time. I'm gonna run. No, this can't be good. I, I have to run now. I'm sorry, Fu um, Fukuroi. Ah, wait, wait, please. Oh, what is this place? An old um, air raid shelter or something? Is that a girl? In a place like this? Maybe she got trapped in here too, just like us. Hey, little girl, it's dangerous in here. <gasps> That's Sachiko. Uh, you're... Who are you, late? Uh, who are you, lady? Are you a friend of that bad man who kills people? What? Um. Uh. N no. Not at all. Don't be afraid. I ran. I ran away from him too. Uh, you've got a lot of blood on. You've got a lot of blood on you. What happened? And who is? And who is this bad man who kills people? I don't know. He's a big man, and he killed three of my friends. I'm the only one who got away. Oh, sounds like you've been through a lot here. I'm looking for my friends right now, but <laughs> if you like, you're you're welcome to join me. This place seems really dangerous, and to be honest, I'm a little scared by myself, so please. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. It's a lot more complex down here than I thought than I thought it would be. It only if only I had a map or something. This way, lady. This way. God, dude, I have like I have my light right here. I have to have my my actual room light on. You can't even tell my room lights on if you look at because of how desaturated I am right now. I also have my window light open. I have like three lights right now. <laughs> and this one's blinding the shit out of me, so yeah. In here. You sure know your way you sure know your way around. I've gotten used to it. Huh? Come to think of it, I haven't even asked your name yet. Sachiko Shinozaki. Uh, ow! What are you doing? Hmm. What am I doing? Holy Jesus. Uh, where'd the door go? What kind of room is this? Or no, is this a different angle, actually? I think this is a different angle. We're from, we're at the angle from the door. I couldn't decide if it looked like, looked more like pre-war medical facility or a meat, oh fuck, a meat processing plant. The stench was overpowering. Not only was the smell of rot, rotting flesh everywhere, but the air was stale with, stale and thick. The room seemed to have no ventilation to speak of whatsoever. My eye was first drawn to the blood splattered table, then to the many other instruments, all stained with dried blood and sprinkled uh, liberally with viscera. Okay. And then I saw it in the back of the room. No. Oh God, is that? There was definitely more meat processing than medical going on in here. What I saw was literally a pile of human remains. Every one of them flayed open or torn apart. It was almost like a stack of discarded butcher scraps. No. What the hell is this? God, oh God! See? People you know in there. See people you know in there? Which ones? I'll give them back. Or part of them anyway. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Let it all out. You'll feel better. Why? Are you calmer now? Then let's begin. What do you have plans with me? 
Whatever it is, don't stay away from me. Everybody always says that. <laughs> but it's not like it ever works. Hey, halfwit, catch her. There you go. Now stirring her up. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't I don't know what sound that was supposed to be, whatever. Large man seemed intent on obeying Sachiko's every command. He drew near me. Slowly and robotically. There was no emotion, no sense of urgency. Just a man walking across the room to do his job. Like it or not. I have to run. If he catches me, I'll be... <laughs> Get back! <laughs> Playing tag? The exit is over here. But can you make it? Get back! The man's movements remain slow and evenly paced. But there were only so many pieces or places to flee in a room this small. If I got tired before he died, I'd be finished. Or before he did. What? My only hope was to get out into the hall before that happened. The two of us glared at one another for a few moments. We crossed the, um, the selection table. Uh, the, the dissection table. What the fuck am I saying? Dissection table. And then as soon as he made his move, I leaped on top of it. Ugh! I'd underestimated just how slippery the table might be with its thick layer of blood and fat I quickly spilled off the tape or spilled off the other side onto the floor my legs and hind quarters quarter quarters were soaked through with the blood of an untold number of people of other people but I didn't have time to think about that adrenaline gave me the strength to stick my landing and I managed to keep running without skipping a beat a almost there I was in the home stretch, for a couple more steps anyway. Ugh. A sharp pain suddenly shot through my leg as it touched the ground. I immediately fell into a heap. It hurts! Uh, uh, my leg! My right leg was now firmly impaled with thick, sharp metal spikes. I had been caught in an old-fashioned bear trap. The kind that got... What the fuck? What? Uh... Hold on, give me one second. Okay, I am back. <laughs> the kind that got two rows of metal shark teeth lined up on either side, instantaneously snapping shut as soon as any weight is applied in the middle. The thing was designed to catch bears and tigers, so what hope did a human have of escaping it? Ah, ah, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> How many dozen of victims do you think I've killed here? People sure don't get any smarter as they get older. Everybody always gets caught by this. <laughs> but then, I don't ever let my prey escape. S stay back. Stay back! I swallowed my pain and started grabbing whatever I could get my hands on. Dirt, bones, anything. And chucking it at the encroaching giant. It was the only thing left for me to do. I was out of options. Ugh! The man's foot came down hard on my left leg. It immediately contoured unnaturally. It went limp. And I could see a pointed sharp of, a shard of bone juttering out from a bloody hole in my sock. <laughs> uh, my leg! You broke! My leg! Next, the man wrapped both my arms in chains. Uh, no! Stop! Please! It hurts! It hurts! No! As he pulled on the chains, my leg muscles also tightened around sharp metal spikes in a, com a compound fracture. The pain was literally unbearable. God damn, bro. 
this freaking this this damn this damn game in my half unconscious agony um um a a a a state i was just barely aware of being raised into the air by my arms on some sort of pulley system why are you doing these horrible things just let me go home i won't tell anyone about this there is no need to worry you see you're about to experience horrible agony and then die why why me why not some person i've never met from a foreign country why does it have to be me you sure have beautiful skin, lady. So you'll get the... F you'll get the flay fish treatment. I'll peel every last bit of skin from your body, starting with your face. <laughs> Sachiko began approaching me with a broken off shard of an um earthware pot in her hands. No. No, God, no, 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 no. Um, it's so springy. If I were this, would it look more? Will I look more grown up? Hmm. <laughs> An intense pain shot through my entire face. An un uh, diluted. Primal scream escaped my mouth, unwilling, unwillingly, as if I were throwing up blood. But not a living soul was around to hear it. There was absolutely no way for me to resist anymore. All I could do was lie limply, strung up along the wall, and feel my skin getting peeled away. Sometime, or sometime amongst the throbbing shooting burning electric electric agony coursing through every nerve ending overseen by the girl's sneer i lost consciousness the very last thing i saw before lapsing into eternal slumber was a familiar stripe of skin being flapped about merely in sachiko's hands it was my own face perfectly perfectly flayed from my hand from my head staring back at me with blank eyes and flanked by Sachiko's overly delighted grin that ending was fucking <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck was that what the fuck, the fuck was that dude Okay, um, um, okay, well, we got, we got a, we got that ending, Let, let's check that, let's check that out in the, um, in the endings list. We got two, uh, Shangri-La endings. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have seven more endings left. Um, <clears throat> that's quite a bit of endings. This, this game, this, this, uh, this chapter has a lot of endings. So let's continue and see if I can find a previous save. Because those are the only two options there. Unless I didn't pick the other one. Hold on. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go watch my last video just to see what I did. Okay, guys. I'm extremely confused. Because at the end of this video, it doesn't show any choices. It's just, it's really strange. Because we're just following this one guy. And then we get the first ending. And then I don't know where the save is. Well, how the, where, what's the save? Hold on. Let me see. When do I... Do I save at all in here? Um, let me check. Let me just check. Um, there's there because we're we're following this the guy with the glasses right now. Let me run down that uh the hallway that we're in. I don't see any choices unless unless I maybe skipped past it. Let me let me watch through this part right here and see. Okay, never mind. I found it and I did pick. Wait here. 
So I guess I'll go back to this save just to see if I can find, um, see if I can find another choice. Um, <laughs> what did I click last time? Because I do not know. Um, let me check. Uh, in this part right here. Is it that one? No. Not that one. It's this one. Okay, stop licking my phone, cat. What are you doing? Bruh. Bro just started licking my phone. Okay, I clicked, uh, check it out. So I click check it out? Looked like I was about to click check it out. Yeah, I click check it out. So let's don't check it out. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Now we should get a different ending. Um, I think. But, frankly, I don't know. L let, me, let me continue watching this, just to be sure. Okay, guys. So, I pulled up my trusty uh, uh, walkthrough. <laughs> yes, we got wrong, wrong end. So, wrong end 1 and wrong end 2 are the ones I've gotten. Wrong end 3 is upon visiting the girls' room with um, a Mith a Mizuki's group. Examine the second stall from the right and choose take a peek. I don't know where that is. When when was that? <laughs> uh, when when was that in the game? Let me let me go to my loads and uh, let's see. These are my only uh, ones. Uh, when 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 is that? Hold up. Let me go to the true end because that actually gives me so a full walkthrough of the entire game. <clears throat> I might as well just restart the entire chapter. <laughs> Uh, the first one's examine the door, descend the first floor, uh, second floor stairway, stairway to the south, enter the music room, head to the school entranceway, examine the bloody looking shelf, return to the hallway outside the art room, enter the art room, then examine the easel. Um, when you're able to examine the objects in the art room, you're likely to forget to examine the piano. That was instead of music. Turn to the music room, then examine the piano and choose to try it. Examine the rice shelf, head to the first floor, second floor stairway. Um, go to the hallway one. Uh, go to the hall just outside the girls' room and examine the door. Uh, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just restart the game, guys. I'm going to play through the game and um, save at every. Uh, Every point I see in the endings, and I'll just uh, go through the endings like that. So, I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys. So, I am following the true ending path right now. So, now it tells me to return to the hallway outside the art room. Um, and access from the southeast staircase. Uh, then examine the door and use the OP. So, we gotta go to the art room right now. Um, where was the art room again? Was it... Okay, it's not here. So actually, I think I use this staircase right there. I use that staircase. Um, hold up, no. Yeah, it says the southeast staircase. Yeah, no, that's north south east. Yeah, okay. This is this the southeast staircase? Let's see. Um, okay, I actually have to go over there. <laughs> I have to go over there, so I I can't. So I have to go to the other staircase. Oh, whatever, whatever. Let's let's head over there. Uh, map. And go to this one. Because I gotta go to the art room. Now. And use the key. Then after the art room, I need to... <clears throat> uh, I need to examine the easel on the left and choose take the palette knife. Okay. <laughs> so the easel on the left and the palette knife. The art room. Let's move forward to hallway. And, uh, this is the art room right here, right? Okay, it's unlocked. Uh, use the old key. There you go. <laughs> uh, the door's unlocked. Yeah, 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 I know it's unlocked. You can enter now. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're in the art room now. Now the easel. Uh, this one, right? This one's the... The return, examine, uh, no, hold up. Unable to examine objects, uh, examine the easel on the left. This one, or this one? Uh, this one? That's a portrait of a girl with long black hair. This one? Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> it was that one. Take the palette knife. Okay. 
And I'll return to the music room and examine the piano and choose try it. God damn it, I can click that button. Okay. Now we have to head all the way back to the music room. Yay. <laughs> we have to go back and forth a lot in this game. Like, bro. Like, I wouldn't even be able to know if I was supposed to do this without a guide. That's the whole thing about this game. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to find out all about all this stuff? Like, bro. Um, but yes. Yeah, so, and then after... After you go back to the music room, hold up, where is it? Examine the nearby shelf and choose take out the box. Okay, let's do this. And, uh, try it. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Examine the nearby shelf and choose take out the box. You should find a grave tag. This one? Uh, take out the box. Okay. And we have found it right we have found it yep we have found it okay and then head to the stairwell on the left side of the map and ascend it okay so this stairwell over here we gotta ascend it right and uh okay go to the hall just outside the girls room and examine the door when given the option choose to try it okay and I believe we get another another ending here, I believe, right? So so we ascend the the stair stairwell, uh, obtained. Okay, that's go to the hallway, uh, east girls' room. Okay, <laughs> go hall out. Uh, go to the okay girl room. Examine the glimmering object on the ground. Hold up, is it here? No, it's not. It's not this one. Where do I where do I see this glimmering object? Is this a, the wrong girls' room? Hold up. Um, I think that's a different girls' room. I don't know which floor am I on. <laughs> which one am I on? Uh, yeah, cause I don't see any glimmering objects. Okay, just head head to the stairwell on the far left side of the map and send it. I'm on the second floor, so I ascended it. Go to the hallway, one south, one east of the girls' room. Okay, so let's see. Um, one south, one east. So I guess, or no, this, it would be that one. I was just on. Nothing was there. <laughs> or no, is east? I don't fucking know my directions. Uh, but it's right here. There it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this is the guy that wanted head. I think this is the guy that wanted head. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but and now we gotta go. Uh, go to the hall. Just outside the girls' room and examine the door when given the uh, uh, try it. Okay. So now we can open the door. Yes. C crap. The whole building's. The holding. The whole building will burn down. N no. No, wait. Look. I'd already turned to run, but. Uh, um, Fukuro is urging. I turn back, and I have to admit what I saw defiled my expectations and, and explanations as well. The flames weren't actually engulfing the door, but rather just protective paper charms affixed to it. Door, the wall, and the floor were untouched. After several seconds of burning, the paper charms were completely vaporized. <sighs> and the flames, um, dutified, vanished. As if they were never even there. Okay, now let's enter. Go to the hall just off to the girls' room and examine. Okay, enter the girls' room and examine the second stall from the right. When given the choice, choose, uh, don't. I, why, why do you never enter whenever I click on it? Just, just enter whenever I click on it. Why do I, why do I have to go to the map? Whatever. Okay, and this is enter the girls' room and examine the second stall to the right. I'm gonna save right here because one of these stalls will actually get me killed. So, I'm going to get that ending right now. Let me see. Which ending was that? That was wrong ending 3, right? Um, head to the school exit and examine the bloody shelf cubby. Oh, no, that's the... That's the true... The, the true end. Uh, the wrong end one. Wrong end 3. Upon visiting the girls' room when, uh, with Misha's group, examine the second stall from the right and choose take a peek. Okay. Second stall from the right. So, the right is here. And it's... Uh, what? This one? Actually, yeah. The first stall is the second stall right there. Okay. It's locked from the inside. Well, okay. 
There was a tiny hole in the door. What's this? Maybe we can see inside from here. Take a peek. Maybe we can maybe we can see what's in uh in there from this hole. Mitsuki, come on. I put my eye up to the hole. I saw the telltale glint of another eye staring back at me from within. <gasps> what is it? S somebody in there w was looking back at me. What? That can't be. You don't see any feet al uh, along the bottom of the stall, right? Let me have a look. Okoroi ducked down and peeked in through the hole exactly as I had. Uh, uh, Fukuroi, what happened? Are you alright? Uh, Fuku Fukuroi, no, no, you're joking, right? Fukuroi fell onto his side, and as soon as I could see his face, I noticed that his right glasses lens was cracked, and his right eye was bloody. On closer inspection, I noticed a round hole in the lens, as if a small stick or a flat needle had had been instantaneously driven through it, deep into his eye. Fukuroi, Fukuroi, please stay with me! There was no hint of a response. He just kept subtly convulsing as he'd been electrocuted. How had this happened? What was going on? Boys aren't allowed in the girls' room. Uh, who? What, what did you do? The stall door opened, revealing a little girl with an eerily, eerie blue glow about her. She looked to be around the grade school age, a fifth or sixth grader maybe. One of her eyes had been completely pulverized, but her face showed no indications of pain. Rather, it had a certain stoic uh, quality to it. It was unreadable. Most disturbing of all, however, was the object she held in her right hand. It was an awl of an ice pick or some such thing with a with a bloody dripping blade. Are you the one who let that boy in here? Wait, I... Before I even had a chance to answer, the girl leaped from the stall with, with blinding speed. God damn, bro. That's not allowed. Uh... We just got murdered. <laughs> ah, no! Oh shit, I clicked, I clicked the wrong thing. Huh? <laughs> Reacting as quickly as I could, I threw my arm in front of my face and almost immediately fell. The, the ice pick blade pierced right into it. Not just once, but twice. Three times. It dug deep into my arm. My pale my shoulder or my palm my shoulder stop stop it hurts ah. i had to run but she wasn't about to let me she just qu quietly kept hacking away working her way up and down the entire length of my arm bit by bit my skin and flesh was chipped away until finally the ice pick completely penetrated my palm and began boring into my cheek. Eventually, my ear was hacked apart, and then I was scalped so, so thoroughly that I could hear the sound of my skin peeling away with my remaining ear. Oh, there was nothing in the world but pain at this point. I couldn't focus on anything else if I'd wanted to. My vision was blank, and I honestly couldn't tell if it's because I had my eyes closed, or if I simply didn't have my eyes anymore. I only knew for sure that I was still being hacked apart because I could hear it. The pain gave no indication as it was already omnipresent. I began for more, or I begged for mercy several times in vain before. I finally just, just started praying that this agony would come to an end. God, please. I'll endure whatever trial lies ahead with open arms if you'll just save me now. I beg of you, please make it stop. Okay, we got wrong and three. 
wrong, wrong, oh shit, uh, wrong ending number three. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, this, this game is just, just wild. It's real wild. So now let me check out what, what, um, wrong and four is. Uh, so when trying to fin- uh, when trying to fish Mayu's ID out of the hole in the ground, choose try fishing it out, followed by try going into the hole. Okay, whatever. All that stuff is that, that, that. Let's load the game back up where we left off, and then just continue on because pretty sure the wrong endings will just, just, will just, will just pop up as I go through the, the true endings. So let's just do that. And it was, uh, this, this stall? This stall, right? It's locked from the outside. It won't open. Or actually, no. Hold up. I think... Uh, let me come over to... Where was it? Oh, God. Why is there so many parts to this? Okay. Um, <laughs> Enter the girl's room and examine the second stall from the right. When given the choice, choose. Don't do it. Okay. So we just don't do it. That's about it. We don't do it. Um, <laughs> Don't do it. There we go. Uh, there must be some purpose to this hole. I wonder. And then choose insert the wind up key. Okay. Working on a hunch, I took the wind up key from my pocket and tried sticking it in the hole. Surprisingly, it was per it was a perfect fit. I then tried turning it, and with just a little bit of force, it spun 180 degrees to the right and produced a loud click. I guess it I guess it wasn't a wind up toy a full wind up toy after all. Then, seems like I flipped some kind of switch. A switch? It doesn't seem like anything changed, though. Wait, look at the hole! As if on cue, a single hairline... A streamed of... A, a single hairline stream of blood began oozing out from behind the wind-up key. It slowly wended its way down the door and formed a gloppy pool as its, um, at its base. The whole room then filled with a pungent odor, all at once. This smell seems... Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. What the f- Eep! Uh, uh, another earthquake? What's, what's going on? Okay, what was next? So after that, it says return to the school's exit and, and eventually proceed. Once you regain control, examine the corpse on the ground. Okay, I think it's over. That scared the crap out of me. This old building is run down enough. There's no telling what it'll just up and when it'll just up and collapse. Yeah, we need to hurry up and find a way out of here. Yeah, we do. So let's head back to the entrance, uh, which is on the bottom floor, right down here. Okay, let's head to the entrance. <coughs> Okay guys, but I'm going to Okay guys, but I'm going to end today's video here. Um yeah, like I said, it's been a while since I played Corpse Party Book of Shadows, and I might also come back to playing uh uh Katawa Shoujo. Yes. I'm probably gonna also come back to playing that one. I uh, I've been playing a lot of games, you know, and I just gotta finish them. Uh, Quartz Party, I'm i I'm close to finishing it, so I'm gonna probably just try to finish it, you know. Like I've said a hundred times. Um, Katawa Shoujo, I'm still a ways off from getting em uh, Emmy's ending. And then like I said, I was going to get all the endings. So I still have uh, four more left, I think. There was, um, what were their names? Uh, uh, Shizu, Shizune, right? There was Shizune. Um, there was the, the, the armless girl. I don't remember her name. Uh, Rin, uh, Rina, or no, Rin, I think, yeah, Rin, that was her name, Rin, uh, Shizune, Rin, uh, Hanako, 
And I believe actually those are the only three. Those three were left. Because then there's Emmy and fucking what's her face. I I can't even remember her name. Uh yeah. The one I already completed. But yeah guys. Uh hope you enjoyed today's uh Corpse Party Book of Shadows video. Um I will see you all next time. No, I got a new I got a new webcam. It's pretty cool. And it can actually attach to my uh my uh, my stand. Um because it has like the little screw at the bottom so well, guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already and i will see you all next time peace out and bye bye